This is the PSLE 2022 question, two rods in the ground. It's, uh, if I understand correctly from student recall, this is the last question of the MCQ. And this is the diagram as shown. I made some changes. I added X and Y so that we can have a reference point. Okay, let's begin. So the first thing you need to take note of here are the keywords as usual. Most questions or all questions, you need to have your keywords underlined first, even if it's MCQ. So this three here represents rod A, the eight here represents rod B. In the same way, one is the part that is in the ground and the one here is the part that is in the ground. Okay, so both of it from one third and from one eight, both the ones are the parts that are in the ground. Now, if you want to put it in a diagram form, that would mean that this part here is one third. It would mean that this part here is one eight. So far, this should be quite easy to understand. Okay, now, in most mathematics questions, the solution comes from getting the part that is equal. And the part that is equal in this question is referring to this portion. So this is the part here that is equal to this. And this is our starting point. Now, the next thing you want to do at this point then is to find out what is the fraction over here and what is the fraction over here. And these two fractions are equal. So what we do is we can do this for rod A, for rod B, we can put it in the ground. And above the ground. So for rod A, since one third is in the ground, then how much is above the ground? Okay, two thirds, very good. And for rod B, if one eighth is in the ground, what fraction is above the ground? Yes, seven eight, very good. So what you do is you take these two numbers, two third and seven eight. It means that the two third is equal to the seven eight. Now, a common mistake for most students is they will think to themselves that, okay, so therefore three is equals to eight. Now, this is not true because if this is true, then it means that the length of the rods are actually equal. Obviously they are not. So which part is equal? The answer is the part that is above the ground. The part here, let me just use a different color, that is above the ground. And the part that is above the ground is not represented by the three and the eight, it is represented by the two and the seven. That is the part that's above the ground. So we are going to equate those two numbers. That means that the two here is equal in size to the seven over here. Now, since the two numbers here are equal, then what you want to do is you want to multiply them so that they can turn into the same number. Both of them should become 14. And whatever you do to the numerator, you should do to the denominator. Therefore, you multiply by seven and two respectively. This will give you two new numbers. These two new numbers are going to be 14 out of 21 and 14 out of 16. As you can see now, the numerators are equal. This means that I've done it correctly. It also means that this top portion is 14 units. This top portion is 14 units. Next, this 21 here represents the whole length of A. The 16 here represents the whole length of B. So if 21 is the whole length of A and 14 of it is above the ground, then this portion is seven units because 21 minus 14. Now I'm not writing this out because that is not required in the question, but I'm using this to teach. Likewise, I will take 16, which is the entire rod of B, minus the 14, which is above the ground, to get two units, which is below the ground. Okay, so I hope you understand so far. Next, what is the question asking you to find? It says here, both rods 
are touching the straight line x, y above. You can see that over here, x, y. And they are asking you to find the total length of A and B. So which numbers here represent total? The numbers that represent total is the 16 and the 21. Okay? Now, of all the numbers here, the only information provided is the 30 centimeters here. This 30 centimeters is the difference between A and B. As you can see, this is 7 and this is 2. So if you take 7 minus 2, you should get 5 units. That's right. So this portion here is 5 units. Okay, you can write here as either 21 units minus 16, or you can just take your 7 minus your 2. Either way, you will get 5 units. Okay, these are two possible ways of doing it. Either way you do it, they represent the difference in the length of 30 below the ground. That means I now know that one unit is 30 to get six centimeters. The six centimeters is one unit. The question is the total length. The total length is, as I told you just now, the total of these two numbers. Okay, 21 for A, 16 for B. I'll just highlight it over here. And when you add it together, you should get 37. Am I correct? So to find the total length, I should now take 16 units plus 21 units to get 37 units. And since one unit is six centimeters, I should now take 37 times six. This will give you 222 centimeters. And that is the answer to this question. Okay, so were the explanations clear for you? If you have any questions, remember to leave it in the comments and I will answer them. If you have found this useful, please share it with your friends. But most important, remember to subscribe as this channel was made to help parents in their journey. I would appreciate that a lot. If you want the worksheet, look in the description below in my Telegram group, join it, and you will find the worksheet there. I will see you again.